Welcome back, everyone. Uh, this is gonna be a busy video, I think, with a lot of progress. We've got very cold temperatures in the forecast in the next few days, and we don't have water in the house. We've got our fridge outside of the bus in the boot room, and the water in the bus will definitely freeze with these temperatures that are forecasted. The food in the fridge will spoil, well, it'll freeze, and I don't wanna waste all that food. So what we're gonna be doing is getting the water to the house. Uh, Greg is currently finishing uh, plumbing in any of the drains from the sink. So we've got the bathroom sink upstairs in our bedroom. So we can brush our teeth and wash our hands, wash our face, all that. Um, downstairs, we obviously don't have our countertops yet and we aren't gonna have them for this video. So I went out and bought a laundry sink that we're gonna put in the bathroom downstairs uh, for the time being. And we're gonna get some plywood on the counter as counters so that we can cook in here. We can wash our dishes in the laundry tub. And then once we're ready to start working on the bathroom, uh, and we need to get the vanity in, I can move the laundry tub outside and I'm thinking we'll have it as like a garden station or something. So something cheap and temporary and it has legs so we don't need to build anything to hold the sink up and we'll have access to water. So yeah, once we're finished with the plumbing stuff inside, we're gonna be jumping outside and uh, digging up the water cistern and we need to currently right now the the water line coming out of the cistern is going towards the back of the bus which is away from the house and we need to turn the cistern around and get the water line pointing towards the house so that we're not snaking water line all over the place and we suspect that it's leaking somewhere so we need to figure out where, where the leak is and get that figured out because we're wasting a lot of water and in the summer it's not a big deal when we're pumping water all the time but in the winter we don't have our solar uh, pump running because the water line is above ground it will freeze and that's a whole other project for the future but <laughs> we will be trucking water in for the winter so we need to make sure that we're conserving as much as we can <laughs> Well, yeah. everything that we can, so. For the record, I am not ready for winter. Not at all. Okay, so I have installed the P-trap in the bathroom upstairs. Um. <laughs> The cat just tried to jump into the sink. Was it recording? No, I didn't. <laughs> the sink that's full of water. The water's been up there for a few days. Yeah. The first thing I want to check is that there is no leak between, like, in the plumbing in the sink itself. So I've got as much water uh, sitting in the sink um, with as much hydrostatic pressure as it would ever have in it. And underneath, do we see any leakies? Nope, you can't see, but nope, there's no leaks. We're nice and tight. So I'm gonna wait a few more minutes because it's been about 15 minutes since I got the P-trap installed. And then I'm going to let the water out and see if there is any leaks. Because I've pre-tested the plumbing, but I haven't pre-tested this um, P-trap. So let's wait five more minutes. Okay. Five minutes, done. Now we're gonna check and see if my plumbing leaks. So, you can see down there, I'm gonna press this, and we're gonna see if we're successful.
No leak. Well, Greg is making good progress in the bathroom, getting the water heater hooked up. No. Listen. Shh. Dogs are getting hungry, but I am going to start moving our food into the fridge inside. It's time. Got this plugged in and there's no sense in having two fridges running. And she's hungry. You want your food? Are you hungry? Why don't you ask nicely instead of bitch yarping at me, hey? I'm not gonna miss opening the fridge into our coat rack and not being able to get into the drawer. <laughs> I will not miss that at all. Well, push has come to shove. We are trying to get in this house where we have our water, our power, everything hooked up properly so that we can have a nice, comfortable winter. In here, ah, not here. Katie and I have spent four years living in that bus. It's not happening this year. Problem is, that's a snowstorm up over there. So, what? we're gonna do today is violently try to pull out the cistern that we have half buried by the bus, reinstall it, run a water line to the house from that cistern, install that water line to a pump, install the pump to the house. <clears throat> Anything else, Katie? Oh yeah, dry all the bathrooms so that we can have a shower again. <laughs> <laughs> Katie's not... <laughs> It's warm. Tell them about the wind. We probably got 90k winds up here last night, which is terrifying. And it started at 3 a.m., so we've been awake. I've been, oh yeah, I've been awake since one. I just woke up early, and that was how it was. All these trees were bent over sideways, <sighs> too close to the house. More to come down for sure. But anyway, we're not doing that today. We're getting the cistern in so that we can have water in our house. too high.
ground. That's oh. all good. So we're gonna take the water out of the cistern and put it into an IBC tank just so that we have some, we obviously need to clean out the cistern. It's never been cleaned out in years now. So it's time to get it cleaned out while we have it all apart. So yeah, we're gonna pump all the water into the IBC tank and then once it's out, we'll be able to start digging and lift it out. So fingers crossed this goes well because we do not have a lot of time. Engine throttle up. Let's watch him shovel calmly. Okay, do you see that? Shoveling. Everything's all good, see? Everything's all good. Oh, oh baby. Oh, you gonna bite my face? Hmm? You wanna bite my face? Try me. Try me. Now some people might be wondering why this is only half buried. And that is because Greg hand dug it a few years ago. We didn't have any machines. Yeah, so he hand dug it in about like six hours, I think. And by the end of that, his back was messed was up. Toast. And that's as far in as it went. <laughs> but it's worked. We have in a few cold snaps, we've noticed ice on top of the water, but it's never affected our water usage. So it's been fine. down there. <laughs> Silt. We're gonna cut the line and then I suppose all the water will drain out and hopefully that'll be enough that we'll be able to lift it out. We did put straps around the cistern when we installed it originally so that we would be able to just lift it out with whatever machinery we were gonna have in the future. So fingers crossed this tractor can handle that. It is. It's been leaking. Unfortunately, it looks like there is some water down there. Proves our theory that it's been leaking. You just never really know. It's maybe we're, we are using a lot of water and and it's not leaking, or maybe it is leaking and like that's really not good. So hopefully that means once we fix it, 
this winter will be a heck of a lot easier on water. We won't have to get as much. We'll be trucking it in, so it'll be less work, hopefully. Okay, after fighting this thing for hours, I think I'm ready to pull it out. Cross your fingers. Drain draining, like it's, it's, yeah. All right, well, the strap broke and it doesn't want to come out, but there's still a little bit of water in there that's draining out right now, so hopefully that'll help. Me, I pushed this into the hole. Yeah, I was a younger and stronger man at one time. <laughs> You're getting soft because of the tractor. Yes. So we're going to take a lunch break and then come back with a new strap. <laughs>
Finally! Dad? Finally! Alright, we got it out. <laughs> now we have some cleaning to do. That was a very cold job, but we will be able to inspect the cistern now. But first we're gonna go into town and get some fittings so we can get it in the ground. Greg can start digging. gonna be a late night I think there's some bad weather rolling in and uh, it's getting windy and cold and snowing but Greg is out there he's gonna be digging for quite a while and I'm just trying to get all the fires going and everything warm and taking the water out of whatever I can so that doesn't freeze it's time to start digging I think I dug the hole too deep. No, I didn't. I have a bunch of loose material that I can make a nice sloped platform. I got a sneeze coming. <laughs> a sloped platform so that the tank sits on a little bit of a slope pointing towards the outlet. Um, yeah. Okay. So I've got my ladder in there. That kind of helps. <laughs> Safety ladder. Come here. Oh, this is gonna take a minute. <laughs> wow, this is deep. Whew. Okay, so there's my hole. Look. Um, I'm going to dig a line through here and then along here, 45 
through here and then a 90 to this which is three feet under the ground now will it freeze three feet on the ground the answer is no um last year was a really cold winter we got to probably 21 inches from what i could tell from digging um three feet is pretty safe so that's the plan and then uh yeah we're gonna see if we can get this cistern in the earth and this water line installed um yeah big weekend Now that we have the trench and the new spot for the cistern dug, we're going to get the new, what'd you call it? Bulkhead. The new bulkhead in so that we can send the water out to the water line. So we think what was leaking was the old bulkhead because it looked like the O-ring was uh, compromised. So we think that is what happened, but who knows? Who knows? It's hard to say. And uh, yeah, hopefully this next part goes fairly fast with getting the water lines in towards the house. Kind of clean. All right, jump in. Got no shoes on. Is it dry in there? Yeah. Your pants are mucky though. You should fold them up. There was a dead mouse in here. <laughs> and you didn't even know. Yes, I did. I helped you pull it off. This is not... You probably could have got away with it in your house. Back in. I'm not you sure. It doesn't matter. I've got a big O-ring on my side that needs to compress properly. Oh.
cisterns in the ground. The right height, the right depth of a hole. And uh, now we can start with the water line. Alright, we've got the uh, water line in, and it's probably only four o'clock right now, but it's pitch black. Yeah. Thanks, Daylight. So, daylight losing time. We're gonna try and get things a little bit tidied up and call it a night. I'm gonna wrap up the video here, and we'll pick you up tomorrow, except for it'll be a week or so, or a few days, and we'll get the rest of this filled in and hook connected up to the house so thanks for watching everyone and we'll catch you in the next video we're going to bed <laughs> no we aren't it's way too early <laughs> hibernation time <laughs> bye